and welcome back guys to let's play kingdom hearts dream drop distance in the last episode we finished up Sora's story uh in traverse town uh if you know how this game plays like i've explained a billion times already as i keep explaining it uh then you know that this game is played with two characters playing the same worlds back to back that's how i'm going to be doing it so one episode will be dedicated to Sora's playthrough of, of an episode of an area, and the next episode will be dedicated to Riku's, etc., etc. All right, you guys see what, what, we're, what we're going for? You guys, you guys, think you figured it out? All right. So playing as Riku is insanely satisfying. He plays super quick. He's super, super powerful. Like. Okay, so I can't climb anymore? Why? Like, what? That's the one ability that we lose. We forget how to climb. That's that's nonsense. That's nonsense, game. I took a nap, by the way, uh, in between episodes, because I realized how sluggish my commentary sounded. And that was completely because I was tired. Like, I was just, I was out of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. I, oh, shit. Go to command deck right now. Get rid of sleep. Who the hell uses sleep? We got balloon, baby. Balloon saved my ass actually in the last episode. All right, let's beat the crap out of everybody. I don't know what that was. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this series as much as I'm going to enjoy making it. Cause, not gonna lie, I adore. Okay, I guess we're asleep. Wow. So you can fall asleep like that, but that doesn't count as diving? Interesting. Never knew that. You learn new things every day. Alright, also, I really fuck with Riku's fucking pants. Those are- I literally have a pair of pants that looks just like that. Except they're- they're tighter. Alright, I'll be right back in like two- Hooray for video editing. Ah. Uh, anyway, sorry, my, uh, baby mama called. She- she wanted to let me know, uh how like when I could talk to my son today uh, one of my roommates uh, might have the dreaded Rona and we decreed that he wouldn't come over this weekend because of that until he's able to take a test uh, COVID sucks but um, anyway enough about my sad situation because considering that the Rona has been a very important topic on this channel I swear to god bro anyway head this way first district time Stay back. That whole time we were just goofing off and Shiki was getting her ass fucking <laughs> handed to her by uh, Dream Eaters. That poor girl. So these episodes are going to be kind of like how the original Kingdom Hearts uh, game I did were. Uh, where I'll be doing one world at a time, no matter how long it takes. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to record three episodes today, probably a little bit more tonight uh, after I upload all these, but I have to edit them and blah, blah, blah. I have to edit specifically this episode. I have to stitch it together now, considering what happened with uh, that bullshit. Uh, but it's okay, man. Riku's already level four. Look at this, man. And he just hits like a truck. Hell yes. Ten out of ten. Seriously, thanks. I'm Shiki. How about you? Riku. Thanks, Riku. Sure. Hey, that's it? You chat up a girl and then just say, sure, and walk off? I'm bad at this. Sorry. Look, it's not safe here. You should go home. If it's dangerous, how can you just leave me here? Aren't you my knight in shining armor? Well? N knight You've got the wrong idea. Oh my gosh, I was so just kidding. You get out much? Uh, uh. You remind me of this guy I know. Well, good thing we met. Yeah, great. That was adorable. <laughs> Riku can't talk to girls. Which explains why Kyrie never considered him as an option. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Riku. I I had to. It was just too obvious. Also, 
Is his pathway open? It is. See how there's no barrels there? Yeah, there's a reason for that. That whole time that was there, apparently. I don't remember that in Kingdom Hearts 1. I can't go back and check, though. I deleted 1.5 and 2.5 off my PS4, which I'm kind of regretting doing. But at the same time, I'm not. I've, put, I've played so much goddamn Kingdom Hearts in these past, like, three months. It's ridiculous. All of March, all of April, and all of May. We're about to enter June, and I'm still playing the series. This is Pinocchio and Geppetto's house. They ain't here, though. So how is this world sleeping? We were just there, like, a couple of weeks ago, dude. Are they okay? Alright, grab that. Rampant Fantasy. Okay. I don't know what that is. Oh, it won't let me in there. Got it. That's kind of rude game. For all you know, I had plans for that. Isn't there something on top of Geppetto's house? Or no? Hey, they made it you can't touch up there at all. That's lame. So down here in the alleyway, there should be a treasure chest and a few Dream Eaters. That's perfectly fine with me. Okay, can we... There we go. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, we can't interact with that. I was gonna say, I'm like, can we interact with that? But no. It blocked off a lot of areas that we were able to access in previous games, like Sid's Accessory Shop. Remember when we'd come here and we'd have to jump up here and then jump up here and then talk with Sid? Good times. That was so... It seems so long ago. Alright. We are now... Somewhere... Huh. The back streets. I'm not gonna sing it. I'm not gonna sing it. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You'll never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't glow. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get your game on. Yo, play yogurt. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get the show on. Get paid. And all that glitters is gold. Hell yes. Yeah. Using flow motion makes this game so much easier. Hmm. A thunder. Interesting. Can't climb up here, can I? Nah, no, it won't let me. That makes sense, though. How won't let me either. Alright. How many treasures do I have as Riku? Eight? God damn, they hide them so well in this game. It's gonna be a an experience, if you will. Getting everything. But you know, we're gonna be so OP by the end of this. It's gonna be ridiculous. Like, look how we're doing already, and this is just the first area, man. Like, we are... It's the complete opposite of Aqua in the beginning of Kingdom Hearts <laughs> by Sleep when we played as her in her story. Or she was doing literally a tiddly wink of damage. And I mean that. I will be as rude as possible about that. She was terrible to play as. The back streets are a little confusing. This whole area is kind of confusing. They make these uh, worlds huge. Like. And. Oh my god. I, I thought. See this is why it's a problem man. They're different colors. Yeah no shit they're different colors. Doesn't mean it's a good method. <sighs> Anyway, now that I'm done beating up my bat friend who did not deserve to get beat up. Let's head through here. Nothing. Enemies. We're probably going to level up again soon, aren't we? God damn. We slide through here? Yep, you can slide on the water. Okay, yeah, keep going. Let's see where this takes us. Oh, shit. Yes. Riku, you are a beast, man. Level is he? Oh, we can't check for in flow motion. Got it. That makes sense. Level 5. We're gonna be level 6 soon, though. This rate. Because, goddamn. Just absolutely just demolishing everything in my path. Well, it's breakable. 
That's the thing, I have to think like that. I have to think literally of any possibility. So I was already here, right? Good thing they made that you can run kind of quick. For the other uh, Kingdom Hearts games with the running, like, the, the speed that he walks. That shit was ridiculous. When I, when I realized it, when I started playing this game, I was like, whoa, 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 what is going on? I'm like, they're running a lot quicker. It's a lot more satisfying to watch, actually, and play. Ah, uh, the way to the dawn, my favorite Keyblade. Genuinely is, I have one. I have a copy of it. Um, it's kind of cool. Let me jump. When I say I want to jump up high, I mean it. Thank you, God. I knew there was going to be something up here. Oop. That was a bird. Bird just flew right over my head. I think... Oh, we haven't been down here, so I guess I'm wrong. I was going to say, I think that there might be a treasure here somewhere, but I think I also thought that maybe we explored the whole back streets. Who knows? Hold on. How high can I go? Well, apparently that's the size I could go. There was no treasure up there, unfortunately. Wow, that's game. That looks so awkward. You guys couldn't just shug whatever. I'm not gonna Who am I to judge them? Paint gun blue sky. You can use those to paint your uh dream meters different colors. It's actually kind of a cool concept. Alright, where's this gonna take me? Whoa shit. Leaves me here. What's this way? Oh, I've already been... Uh, hmm. I get it now. There's nothing here. This actually would have been a good game to have first-person mode on, but since they're lame, they didn't. Alright, so where do I need to go? Oh, I have to go to the save point. Got it. Easy peasy, bro. Let's run this way. I'm hoping to God I don't drop. We came very close last time to fucking that whole thing up. I guess we have to go this way. Is this going to lead us to where we need to be? Or is it going to screw us completely? Oh shit, we haven't been here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, okay. Okay. How many, how many have I gotten now? 13. Okay, that that's more like it. I kind of I'm kind of cool with that. I'm cool with that number. That sounds normal. We made it here. Um I guess there's no other thing to do but oh. up. What is this place called? It's called the Fountain Plaza. Oh, Where's the Fountain Plaza already? God damn. This should be easy to do. Move it a little bit, yeah. And... Bonk. Hell yeah. Make that number 14, baby. Vibrant Fantasy. Is that, their, is that Square Enix's next series? Water Barrel. A lot of the items you get are just stuff for that. It's nothing special. A lot of dream eaters. That doesn't help that the bats are actually here. Could I get a panda? That would be cool as hell. I would like the big panda to follow me. Or the goat. The goat would be cool too. Is there is there an elephant one? There's an elephant one. I want it. I love me some elephants, man. Alright, head up here. Bonk, bonk, bonk. It's so satisfying. I, I love playing as Riku. Like, they could have just made this an all Riku game. It would have been fine. These characters have come so far. Like, Riku's been through some shit since, uh... 
Kingdom Hearts uh, Re-Chan memories. Like, he, he's, he literally transformed into, like, a 50-year-old man. Like, okay, he wasn't that old. Let's think about this. Terra is like tw was like 18, so it was 10 years, so 28 year old man. Oh my god, I just called a guy who's gonna be my age next year 50. Ah, uh... don't get old, kids. Actually, get old. I'm telling. That was essentially me telling you to die. I'm sorry. You know what? We're all gonna die sometime. God damn. Alright. Head up here. That turns into a thingy. Don't need that, but I do want this. Wacha! Blizzard Edge. Command deck. Blizzard Edge. Sounds cool as hell. Learning a bunch of cool attacks. Notice, though, how Riku is not relying on darkness at all. Yeah, he overcame that shit. Let's give Riku a round of applause. Riku is no longer a vessel of darkness. Kinda. Right? I mean, he's essentially just a Keyblade wielder now. He, he, he learned his lesson. Don't fuck with darkness, and you'll be golden. And he did it. So if I hypothetically do this, right? If I hypothetically... No, it won't, won't let me go. That's bullshit. Whatever, game. I see you. I see you picking favorites. Letting Sora go to extra areas, but Riku can't. Re to be fair, Sora can enter the back streets. And you know what? What's wrong with taking the back streets? I was hoping this would shoot me up, but it doesn't. Kind of lame. Alright, let's continue. We can get through this. I'm about to drop. Uh-oh. We're actually going to have a drop problem, I think, in this episode. It'll be fine. Uh, I'm literally just going to drop right back to Riku from Sora's uh, perspective. Which is kind of obnoxious. I wish that they didn't do it that way. I wish they made it manual, but it's fine. It makes sense, I guess. Yes, dude. Level 6 already. I'm going to just push this over here. does nothing. It does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Will that do something? Okay. <laughs> nothing really at all. That's kind of lame. Bam. Knock them all back. Fuck them up. Fuck them up. Stalking your mom. Stalking your mom. Stalk, 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 stalking your mom. Can't believe that your favorite Martian's actually back. That's crazy. Oh my god. I actually might be able to get all of Riku's. I think I've gotten quite a few of them. Reports. Treasures. 19. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to get all of his, but I'm going to get a whole lot of them. I'm going to try to get all of them, but I doubt I will. It's really going to come down to the situation that I was talking about earlier, where I'm going to have to like come back on like a final episode and look for all of them. I mean, we had to find 300 and freaking Birth by Sleep, so... I guess a couple hundred for these two won't be that bad. Alright, head up here. Grab you. Candy goggles. Is that what that said? And there's the Colosseum. Can't go in here. That's lame. Alright, grab this. There are Dream Eaters about. Come on. Where did it go? Son of a bitch. How am I supposed to find the treasures if I can't even find the enemies? So satisfying. Come on. Ah. 
getting so many items, man. Where are they expecting me to go? I'm assuming into the Colosseum, because I'm assuming that's how this is going to end. Is this a secret area? Oh, okay, I thought this was a secret area where I could, like, grab something, but it's not. I'm pretty sure they do have something on top, though. Yes, but no. What the fuck? Where the hell are all of his, his... Where are all of his treasures? I can't find them. It's ridiculous. Also, there was a Colosseum here the entire time, but yeah, we couldn't go. Is it spelled like a, a Colosseum? It is spelled like Colosseum. That's hilarious. Yeah, you're gonna die. Okay. So. Up here. Is there anything I need to look for? I mean, it doesn't look like it. It looks like I've got everything. Who knows, though? This game, Knowing this game, there's going to be some random area that I just completely... Like this! Son of a bitch. Alright, I think we're done now, though. I think that was it. To my knowledge, at least. Orphan Tears got us in the zone. Alright. Bingo. Let's head in. We should stick together. <laughs> Perfect. You can't expect me to... <gasps> Shiki. No way. How did you get here? Who are you? <gasps> By choice or chance, you cannot control what you are not aware of. This wakeless sleep will be your prison to wander forever. What do you mean? Riku, oh. don't you listen to that punk! Shiki's gonna be fine. She told me what's up. Hoodie here set this whole thing up, yo. He promised to send Shiki back to our world, and you was the cost of travel. Yo, this is seriously one half-baked excuse for a mission. Bet you ain't even a reaper. All right. Who are you? Wait! I'm really sorry, Riku. Uh. It's all right. Beat. Watch her. I got this, yo! He's got this, yo. Defeat Huck a Monkey. Think we can do it within the time limit? I'd say our chances are a little bit better. Okay, maybe not. Game. Not fun. Come on. Not cool. There we go. Get on my level. There we go. He just, he just knows that if he gets within attack range, he's fucked. Why can't I air dash? Beat up his hands. Beat up his hands. Running out of time, just like we do with Sora. Only this time I think I can actually make it. God, man, his hands really do regenerate quick. He's a lot harder under Riku than he was with Sora. Okay, can we stop with that shit? Got him. I know, where is he? There he is. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, 
Oh, it's over. It's over, baby. Maximum HP increased, deck capacity increased. Hell ye. Good job. What are we seeing? This oh. is so messed up, man. She's right here in front of me, and I can't reach her. If your hearts are connected, you'll reach her. Rhyme. Neku. <laughs> Sora. In their world, something happened that brought their existence to an end. To keep them from fading altogether, I gathered up the very last remnants of their dreams and looked for a place to give them refuge. It was then this world appeared to answer my call, and Rhyme's dreams allowed us to reach it. Here, I thought they might have a chance that the pieces of their dreams could make them whole again. Imagine my surprise when I realized dreams take bodily form in this world. It struck me, by linking their dream pieces back together, maybe I could make them exist again. Maybe I could give them another chance. It can't be that simple. <laughs> well, why can't it? By ourselves, we're no one. It's when other people look at us and see someone, that's the moment we each start to exist. All they needed was for someone to see them, connect with them. And the two of you were a big part of making it happen. Joshua, just who are you? <laughs> Let's say, a friend. One dream is connected to another, which means we must choose in which sleeping world you will begin. I will return you to the Destiny Islands just before they were swallowed by the darkness and plunged into sleep. Once dreams take you, you must let them guide you to the sleeping worlds. As there are seven pure lights, there are seven sleeping keyholes. Unlocking these will both grant you new powers and free the worlds from their wakelessness. Complete this task and return here safely, and I will name you both True Masters.
And with that, Traverse Town is done. Sorta. We have to go back and get all of the treasures, but so far so good. Uh, we are now going to drop back into Sora. Look at Sleeping Riku. Not bad, actually. Uh, attack gain. Magic gain. Yeah. I don't need balloon. I already got it twice. That's how good balloon is, though. They give it to you in that. <laughs> Alright, with that, we are now Sora. And in the next episode, we'll be starting. I'll look up the trans... The, 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 how to say that in, in, in before the next episode. <laughs> uh, yeah. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah, that world. Yeah. Catch you guys on the flip side. See you guys then.